Okay, we have uh, updated everything. Everything is here in the clear. The system is up to date, but what about kernels? Kernels can be uh, maintained in this little in this little program, kernels, but there is only one. So there are many kernels, sorry, there are many kernels. So I can say, just install me this one, but that's not uh, new enough. There are newer kernels like 4.8.5. So um, this will not cut it, will not help. We'll have to do it manually. All right, then we have this little GitHub. First time I am on the system here, as you see. And we can get to a program or a website better. And on this website, just Google GitHub Eric Dubois. That's fine. Repositories. And you will see that there are lots of XFCE things. And this one is the ultimate Linux Mint. What you do, you just download it save it why are we doing this because there is a little script inside extract here and this little script says get away this little script says get me the latest stable kernel 464 but i want to have the 4.8.5 so this movie is also about changing the script so okay, Control C, Control V makes me a new script. Copy one is not needed, and uh, I've changed my way of writing. I'm not naming it latest anymore, but version one and version two and so on. But it's gonna be eight five. You'll see in a bit why it's 485 so where are all these kernels they are on a specific here's a typo they are on a specific uh, place this is the place you should copy you go to your server browser and then you go to the servers where the kernels are you take this little slider all the way down this is not yet ready release candidate well means just what it is it's a candidate 4.8 is look at the dates beginning october so 4.8.5 is the latest one so i'm gonna take this one i'm gonna put this here and then we're gonna look what i'm gonna need is something for my 64 bits meaning i'm gonna need amd 64 this is 32 and all the others. I don't care. I just want these. And not all these. I want the ones with not low latency. So with generic. So the first one, second one, three, fourth one. Okay, so let's copy paste. How should we do it? Let's make that bigger. This is the old app. Let's get the old app. This is the old deb, DBNA. And then copy link location. We have this long link inside now. Control V, Control Save. Back to the other one. So we don't want the low latency, so we want this one. Copy link location. Let's take the first one. Remember what to take. Control V. And then the last one is this one, copy link location, and the last one, control V, save. So it's going to get three files, three pieces of kernel is going to install it, and then it's going to get rid of it again. And then your kernel is installed, you have to reboot. So that's what we're going to do, also in this movie. So we made the script, it's ready to be, to be used. So, or you double click, but then you have to be sure that it's an executable, but it is an executable. It is a program. Allow this file to run as a program. But in Cinnamon, we just double click and we run it. Here, we just go to the terminal, right mouse click, 
and you say update 4.8 so with the tab uh, button I'm using it to complete auto complete the text when we do enter it's going to get one this is one this is two a little bigger maybe and three and then it's going to ask okay what's your password of course it's a very uh, big impact that we're going to do uh, changing the linux kernel is uh, not small stuff so of course he's going to ask your password and then he's going to unpack and install the latest newest kernel available let's pause the movie here again The script has ended and is, is saying here kernels installed, download files have been deleted. So we found all this information. So we have now two kernels, one to fall back on and the latest new, latest uh, one. Okay, so this concludes the movie as I need to reboot now to show you that it's installed.